the conflict internally and the conflicts for myself. I got an example of, you know, when we, we've got orchards and we've got businesses like seafood and we employ our own. We employ our own and sometimes our own break some of the some of the policies. So when we look at the policies, our policies in Waka too, they don't they allow only for the LAW, not the LORE. And so um, as a board member, I've been uh, advocating to our board that our policies should also include LORE. Because when our, when our managers look at the issue of policy, the legislation or the policy that is based on legislation, not LORE. So I've been asking here at the board table that our, all our policies will and must include LORE, the, the, the tikanga side. Because when our managers look at uh, the issue of um, policy and, uh, and looking at our own people, there was no provision in our policy for Komatua to go in and be a facilitator when and where required. And so that was a conflict uh, for me because both myself and, and my cousin Rory, we wanted to go in and assist not only the, our, our own owners, but our own managers. And there was nothing to provide for that in the policy. So we have now challenged our managers to say, all our policies now will include a, a tikanga manaki side of our policy, not just based on the legislation, but based on the LORE. And so for, for me, that was a bit of a conflict because we couldn't get in there um, and assist and support our owners. But as it worked out, the managers asked us to go in and, and assist and support. And so we, we came to a, um, an end decision that our, manager, our management was happy and our owner was happy and we were fortunate that that was the outcome because it had potential for that case to go to court. And uh, so just by having the provision for Komatua to be in there and assist and support avoided those, that situation.